Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi and good evening. I hope you're having a lovely weekend, wherever you are in the world right now. I hope everything is brilliant. Over here, I've been mostly relaxing this Saturday. I haven't done a huge amount of work. I did a little bit this morning, but then I've mostly just milled around the flat, really, and have been walking this young lady. Hang on. Hey, gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been popping out with Lulu and taking her on walks uh, near in the local park and that. Yeah, things are good. Things are quite chill this weekend. I hope you're all okay. So, uh, on the YouTube side of things, before I get started with anything stream-wise, please know that I've spent this week doing pre-production work on the next bullshittery, which should be, I think, Hold Fast Nations, nations at War. Uh, by pre-production, I just mean that I've been going through the available clips in the live streams that I've got saved and have just been categorizing them and properly sorting them. So that's been going fine, really. Uh, no huge problems. I've got a strong understanding of what I've got available to me as an editor, and I'm probably going to make a start come Monday. As for right now, though, so... For those who are not familiar with this, well, with this particular game, uh, might I strongly recommend not watching. Um, I think the best thing that you can do... Uh, well, uh, let me just put this out there. Uh, this is my favourite game. Um, of all the games I've played over the years, I think this is the finest. So if you haven't played Outer Wilds, I very strongly recommend switching off the stream immediately. As a cover blurb, it's an adventure mystery game where you play as a young... A young alien who's exploring the outer wilds. It's just their name for outer space. So you're on an adventure. It's very little big adventure. It's very fly off in your in your spaceship. I would say it's sort of like little big adventure meets Abe's Odyssey. Except instead of cowardly Mudakins, they're brave and adventurous. They want to explore. But it's extremely good. It's a, it's a watermark that I think is going to take quite some time before another game gets anywhere near it. It's very, very good. Anyway, so, I'm going to be trying the DLC that they added, Echoes of the Eye. Now, I read a quick post on Reddit, and I just, I just want to check um, if the chat agrees or disagrees. Should I... Uh, sorry, the Reddit post said that it's advisable to continue your previous save instead of starting a brand new one. Would you agree with that? In your opinion... Okay, the chat is saying yes. Okay then, so I'll be dropping in essentially 
continuing the playthrough that I've already done, uh, already done. So final warning, uh, time to get off now. For anybody who has not seen Outer Wilds, it is going to be extremely spoiler heavy in a game that uh, you really don't want spoil. Also, of note, hang on. <laughs> oh. Marshmallows. <laughs> right. Not for you, young lady. No. Oh. Right. Okay. Let's get stuck in, shall we? Welcome indeed. Thank you for subbing. Sankey Bean, Strikers Mojo, Burz and Mert, Captain Tulpu, The Clone, Shakon, Dion, Feckin Strawberry, and Hill Tramp. Thank you, all of you. Thank you sincerely. Oh, and Legend, I miss you. Admit Legend and Link. Thank you, both of you. Right. Let's get going. And wake up. <gasps> Must admit it's incredibly bittersweet being back here. When I launched the game up earlier to test that it would still be working with my previous save file, I actually found myself welling up quite considerably. Extremely bittersweet would be the word. So, for those who are not familiar with what's going on, welcome to Outer Wilds. We are playing as a young Harthian male known only as the, only as the Hatchling, and we arrive on our first day on... The Outer Wilds Ventures, well, our first day, the Venture Program has been going for ages. The Space Program of Timber Hearth. <laughs> so, come the morning, we're to launch off on an adventure to the stars to join many other Harthians. <laughs> Am I going to burn it this time? <laughs> no, not going to burn it. How can I tell when it's done? I think I ate, like, I got the achievement for 10 burnt marshmallows last time I did this. Oh, is it done? Looks done. Hey! I think I actually did it, did it for once in, in, all, in all this time. Oh, look! That's the Atle Rock. That's the moon. Thank you, Strikers, Cow Two Face, and Crumbler. Hi there, Slate. How are you doing? There's our pilot, ready to get this beauty off the ground? Hey, what can I do you for? You know that ship's a death trap, right? Well, yeah, it's a death trap, but it's a really powerful death trap. What, you suddenly care about safety now? Hmm, fair. I'm gonna have a look around. Welcome to Timber Hearth, everyone. This is our home. <laughs> Hey, Mika. He's got his little toy spaceship. Hey, it's you! Slate said you're blasting off in the ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going to space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I'm still going. You better be. It's been, it's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. So this, for those not familiar, is the tutorial where you learn how to fly your real spaceship up there on the pad. It behaves more or less the same way as your existing ship, and I am a master pilot. Nope. I am a master pilot. It's all coming back to me. I'm a master pilot. First try. See? Right. Nice ship, Micah. Ah, the interloper. So, hang on. I'm having a nostalgia walkthrough. Porphy? Heh <laughs> That would be sap wine, I believe. Hello, hatchling. 
I hear you're, hear you're leaving to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. An iron stomach is the mark of a true Harthian, my friend. Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating lots of bad things. More like that. <laughs> uh... Oh yes, I was about to jump up and use the jetpack, but it's up in my ship, isn't it? <laughs> hey there, Rutal. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They tell me it doesn't explode as often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Mika's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground a lot more than often, uh, a lot more than they used to. Yes. <laughs> Pieces of the space program. So yeah, they're very much Mudark, just brave Mudarkins. It, it's very sort of children's go-kart with their technology. This is a model of the ship itself. That's the viewing compartment. Clearly it's been crashed before. The jetpacks that we use to get around. Here's the listening device that we use to find things in space. Thank you, Dark Merlin. Oh, yes. And this connects us to... Hang on. The orbital satellite that we have. Currently zipping around in a... Is it a polar orbit or an equatorial? So it's going over the geysers that are over. There's the Atle Rock, that's our moon. And then if we look up... There it is! <laughs> that actually happened yesterday, in real life. I stepped outside for a moment to look up at around 10.35 in the evening to watch the bright light of the International Space Station fly over my head. It was nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, these two. Galena and Tefra, that was it. They want to play hide and seek. Not right now. Thank you, Madness Assault. Hey there, Spinel. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass, pass the time. You're leaving the crater? I guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. The big water planet, Giant Steep, that's where I'd go. I need to find Hornfuls. Did you try the observatory? I've literally never seen them anywhere else. He's talking about our astronomer. That water's a bit loud. Okay. So, for those who are not... Well, yeah, so as a recap, a reminder, and to those who are not familiar... The main plot of the game, spoiler heavy again, is that we are, without realising, kind of at the end of the universe. Not truly speaking, but our civilization is probably one of the last ones out there. We are orbiting the sun over there, and we're actually standing in the ruins of the Nomai. The Nomai are a three-eyed furred species who aren't actually natives to this solar system. They visited looking for something. They were following a mysterious signal. A, a signal that they called the Eye of the Universe. They didn't know what it was, of course, but they came here exploring all the same. When they arrived, which was thousands of years ago, we were little more than fish uh, slopping around in the mud. We were an aquatic species. We hadn't properly evolved yet, so they just left us alone. In fact, truth be told, it's better than that. They didn't just leave us alone. They were here for resources, but they were careful to make sure that we survived. They weren't bad people, the Namai. So, if anything, our space program is based on their legacy. We found lots of their technology lying around, and we've attached it to our own ship. The anti-gravity, sorry, the gravity in our ship, for example, uses one of their magical crystals. Well, 
high-tech crystals, but we don't understand it. Indeed, uh, they were not humans. Here's a statue of one. Observe. This is an Amai. Note that it has three eyes versus our four. Yes, we're not related in any way. They came from far away in an enormous spaceship that we haven't discovered yet. <laughs> That's the Atle Rock. This is a museum. This is a museum that's celebrating all the triumphs of the Outer, Outer Wilds Ventures, the space program. <laughs> There's Feldspar, Hornfills, Gossen, Esker, Slate. Well, I presume... Who's taking the picture? I guess it would be Esker, wouldn't it? <laughs> Big thanks to the additional founding members of Outer Wilds. Yeah, the... the, the uh, was, was it the, uh, the developers? <laughs> Okay. Out of Wilds Ventures founding members, clockwise from the top left, Hornful, Gossen, Slate, and Feldspar. Hmm. <laughs> Outer Wilds Ventures, Timberhearth's first and only space program. It was founded to explore the furthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally launched into space. <clears throat> They completed their first orbit around Timberhearth, and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Atle Rock. I believe Esker's still up there, just chilling out. He's probably around the other side of the planet at the minute. Huh. Thank you, Rubber Goose, Black, Bourbon, uh, Tataran, Captain Bullshit, Aurelius, and Big Smack. Wait, Big Sage Smack? Thank you very much, all of you. Okay. Hi there, Hornfell. And Hal, curators of the museum. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. I bet you wish you'd seen that happen. Me too. I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with this statue. Was there something you need? No, I'm good. So the sad part is that we do understand. We do understand what happened with this statue. It's not a statue. Well, it is a statue, but... This is a recording device which links to an ancient Nomai piece of infrastructure that they built. Its purpose is to lock on to either an individual or another computer system and record data, record memories. So it works fine on life forms and machines, it's able to record its, well, it's basically a giant statue camera, I suppose, just far more advanced. The reason that its eyes are open is it's locked on to something. Me. It's recording my memories as I'm going, constantly updating and sending this data off to another planet nearby in the same system. The why is that that system is recording stuff in preparation for an event which is soon to occur something that they plan for of course the Namai never planned for it to la latch on to me it was meant to be entirely for them the Namai. it's not entirely clear why it's locked on to me maybe i'm just unlucky hi i was about to come and find you look 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 you've got to see this the Namai statue's eyes are open they used to be closed Probably should have started with that. And now they're opened. We're not sure why they opened, since no one actually saw it happen. But this is huge news. Someone should tell Gabbro. Or maybe Rybeck. Oh, the stars. This is exciting. It's making making my stomach hurt. That's new. Hmm. <laughs> so... This is the museum where you typically first start the game. You learn that you are the first Harthian to be leaving the system with a translation device which is able to translate the Namai language represented in these linear swirly branch off patterns here. It picks up automatically whenever you find Namai writing and it lets you translate it by holding the right mouse button. Kasava, one of the, one of the Namai, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. For fortunately, the Atle Rock's lack of atmosphere will make the calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. 
This is a representation of what they're looking for. Some strange signal was detected in this system, which caused their faster than light device, well, sorry, faster than light ship called the vessel, to travel here, searching for what it could be. They're an extremely inquisitive lot, the Namai. The eye of the universe, well, we'll get there. This is an example of one of the Namai's, I suppose, but it's like a container. You find them all over their ruined cities, which are everywhere, decaying steadily. Whatever happened to them happened thousands upon thousands of years ago. This is their skeletal structure. Their bodies are also all over the place. Collapsed where they were working, where they were playing. Sadly, also children. Some mass cataclysmic event happened to them, which they could not escape. We've taken their technology and have been using it. This is a, this empty case here is, well, of Nimai origin. Turns out they were using black holes and white holes as sort of teleportation devices to move around rapidly. That is an example of one of them, and we, well, probably without realizing, have mounted it into this probe device, which we can use to rapidly retrieve our probes, so scout things and then, you know, bring them back to the to the to the wearer. This is also an example of Nomai technology. Woo! <laughs> a gravity generating crystal. They're all over the place. The Nomai put them down to make hazardous areas easier to traverse without breaking their necks. What? Hang on. Pictures of the Ash Twins. Is it the Ember Twin? I think so more of their technology and more of their ruins. That's a scaled up version of that device over there, mounted onto the side of a planet for rapid transfer between them. Hi there, Birdie. Hi there indeed. Thank you, Shefu, Killer, Stockwell, and Rubber Goose. That can fuck off. Wait a minute. Nope. As many people have guessed, I'm stalling for reasons that, uh, well, you've already determined. So this is a representation of our sun. The demonstration that over time, as our sun burns through its fuel, it's going to gradually uh, start, well, the balance between gravity and the nuclear reaction at the heart of the star is going to start to be flip-flopped. And the, the star is going to expand and expand into a red giant before eventually... Uh, having the, well, basically having the legs kicked out from underneath it and collapsing, basically going supernova on us. This happens over the course of millions upon millions of years. Weirdly, the larger the star, the faster this actually happens. In real life, I mean. So when you've got these supermassive stars, they can actually burn through their fuel incredibly quickly, but relatively small stars take a long time to work through their, uh, work through their hydrogen and their helium fuel. Hi there, Tom. ZF Tom is in the chat. Here, we have a, an example of something that the, the, the Harthians haven't fully understood. Some mysterious rock of extraterrestrial origin. Also known as a creepy rock, because... Fuck. What's it called again? Quantum super positioning? Super something or other? Essentially, the rock isn't moving. It's occupying all three spots simultaneously. It's only when it is observed that it is forced to pick one, essentially. Quantum weirdness, yes. So this thing is also, well, unfortunately, depending on how much is avail how much is available, is um is causing other things to go quantum around it, adopting its properties. So, spooky ass rock, which forms the uh, opening mystery for what the fuck is going on here. Quantum uncertainty. Hmm. <laughs> this is cool. So these are actually moving, affected by the pull of the moon, the atoll rock. 
so the uh, the engine uh, what is it simulates the physics of gravity for the atle rock as it circles around us so the atle rock moon is currently over there pulling these rocks this way okay so that is new the new exhibit and I can take an educated guess and assume that's probably what's going to start the DLC momentarily now bear with me I'm stalling on purpose So, the Harthians have been exploring their solar system, looking outwards with their telescopes. This one is a, rep is a representation of the deep field um, in real life picture from Hubble. They were looking deep into the empty gaps of the void of the outer wilds and seeing that there are so many galaxies out there. There's so much life. But to their surprise, they're observing, or sorry, the observations of Chert, one of the astronomers, one of the um, astronauts, Notice that there's an unusually large number of supernovas going on. Stars exploding. And he's not sure why. Hmm. <laughs> so, typically, at the start of the normal game, you would go up here and retrieve the codes. And then take flight for the first time to explore the Nomai ruins and figure out what the fuck is going on. Indeed, Chert is a bro. A bit nervous, to be honest. I'm just going to wander around for a little bit. Giant's Deep, where the statues sleep. An enormous, well, I thought it was a gas giant, but that's actually a planet covered in clouds. Beneath it, an ocean. A scary ocean that can fuck off. So, what we don't know, what we didn't know, until we looked into that statue's eyes, is that we're actually trapped. Because the data of our brain was being sent to a device on another planet to eventually restore us, to give our memories back to us when a certain event happens. And that event is happening now, hence the music. The star is going supernova. It has finally run out of its available fuel, and the battle between gravity and the nuclear reaction is going to flip-flop, and all of that mass is going to fall down onto its core at a fraction of the speed of light. When it hits a dead end and it can go no further, when all of the electrons have been pressed against the, uh, the what is it, against the, the core of the atom, it will basically blow outwards with an enormous blast of neutrinos, a supernova. The star is not big enough to collapse into a black hole, so instead it explodes. The Nomai tried to cause this. This is a major revelation in the main plot. Shame we can't see it. Bad timing, I suppose. It's just over there. Wait a minute. Whoops. I see. No, bear with me. Ignore that. You didn't see that. <laughs> I've loaded my save file in an incorrect position. This didn't happen. <laughs> okay. The game is taking the piss out of me now because I did something silly. We're not going to talk about it. <clears throat> Shut up. Stop playing the kazoos. Stop it. We'll just let it get it out of its system. I'm gonna eat this marshmallow. Hmm. 
Nachos are great. <laughs> what, was that? what was that? Did someone say nachos are great? Hang on. Right, ignore that. That didn't happen. Pretend that didn't happen. Um. Mm -hmm. I fucking used my friend. I was wrong. Okay. <clears throat> so obnoxious, it's great. I heard these nachos are great. <laughs> okay. So, pretend you didn't see that. Uh, ooh, hello. So, the sun exploded. And I said that the Nomai tried to cause that. They didn't. So the big revelation of the main plot is that the Nomai needed the power, the energy of a supernova for something that they were trying to do, an experiment. They were trying to power this device that they thought might be able to rewind time. But it didn't work. The device was never triggered. Why? Because they couldn't make the sun explode. It wouldn't fucking work. Every time they tried, nothing happened. They simply could not get the sun to blow up. So that was disappointing for them, and they decided to park the project and do something else. Unfortunately for us, they died, and they left their device armed, like a, a gun just sitting there with its safety off, ready to fire. And they left it there for thousands of years, none of them alive to be able to stop it. And unfortunately, you've just seen it. That was it. That was their successful experiment, so well done them, I suppose. It does work. It does rewind time. And now we're stuck in it. We're stuck in a fucking time loop, unable to escape. Constantly resetting time every time the sun explodes because it's run out of its fuel naturally. And there's nothing we can do about it. So, that is our dilemma. Let's go over to the museum and see... What exactly has changed with the DLC? So, I've just uh, recounted, so the main plot, that's the main plot of the main game. So now, what's Echoes of the Eye? What does that mean? The good news is, I have read nothing. I have not even seen, tra seen any trailers, I know nothing. So this is a complete blind playthrough. You know all that I know. Hmm. Okay. Let's get into the museum and have a look, shall we? I realise I could have just grabbed my jet backpack and flown over, but I'm silly. Okay. So, none of them are aware that we're in a time loop, that's the problem. The time loop lasts for 22 minutes. The only people that are aware are the people who are immune to the effects of it because of these statues. That's why they exist. There is another Harthian who's aware, but weirdly he's very unhelpful, Gabbro. He's decided to spend every 22 minute time loop learning how to play his fucking clarinet or whatever it is he's playing. He's totally unhelpful. He's a bro, but he's unhelpful. Okay. New exhibit. This was not here before. Hello. The radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite and to this day still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. These photos were made possible by the deep space satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. Hmm? Thanks to a recent upgrade, the Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar... Ah! <laughs> that's, that's where it comes from. The real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. Oh! Okay, then. Have I misread the situation? Sorry, I thought that would...
chat, have I fucked up? Sorry, I thought that would be the DLC. Is that just a new, like... Oh, you're smiling. Okay, sorry. Okay, I'll keep going. Okay. Maybe I should go and find it. Let's go and find it. <laughs> See, trouble is, I've read nothing about the DLC, so maybe it's shit. Maybe it's got like a million downvotes on Steam. Because it's like, they added a fucking satellite and it just flies around and beeps. Okay. So, if you're just joining the stream, uh, if you haven't played Outer Wilds, please leave immediately. Go and buy Outer Wilds and play it because it is fucking awesome. No, seriously. Um, don't ruin the story for yourself. It's very, very, very good. But if you have played it, welcome and uh, hope you're all okay. Okay. Slate. I already have the codes because I've been stuck in this time loop forever whilst also you d all you do is roast marshmallows for 22 minutes. It's good to see it again. We've been through some adventures, this ship and I. <laughs> uh. Okay. The solar system. The planetary charts. Okay. Let's see if I can rem remember the fucking controls. I'm sure this will go fine. Much better than the, uh, the, uh, robot. The, uh, what is it? The, the toy robot? Let's not eject. Yeah, I got a brew. Yeah. Right, here we go. Initiating launch. Oh, there is one thing I want to do. Sorry, I'm, I'm aware of something. Do you mind if I just take an eensy wincy detour? It turns out that I didn't do something that was rather important in the last playthrough. And I was like, oh bugger, maybe I should have done that. One second. Over here, we have a mine. So this is a quarry that the Namai were using to get raw material for their project. Being careful not to extract too many resources to the point that uh, the Harthians, us, wouldn't be able to practice metallurgy. They were careful. Now what I didn't know is that these geysers over here also have something worth exploring. Okay. Let's get my suit on. Right. So, what I didn't know, because I figured it would kill me... How does this work again? Oh, it's space, not shift. Wait, am I stupid? Don't answer that. Hold for the, the booster. Is it, the, is it because the gravity is too great? Oh, there we go. One second. You hang in there, Mr. Sun. No explode. Am I stupid? View map, put away. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. Shift and then space. There we go. Right. So, I presume if I stand there when the... Oh, shit, the bed. Okay, never mind. We're doing this. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, my God. Fucking fucking duck. Holy shit, the bed on toast. Okay, hang on a minute. Everything's fine. Just a little unexpected orbital everything. Hang on. Stop it. Right. Do you mind? Oh god. Oh shit, the bed. Ooh, that's hot. We're going the right way? Oh shit, oh fuck me. Where are we going? Whoa, okay. Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? 
Where are we? Where the fuck are we? Oh look! Can I go up here? Uh, no. Do I go just this way and out? Whoop! Oh, this is cool. Never saw this before. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at this! Okay, untranslated. Coleus, after closer observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safer. Uh, wouldn't be safer for the native life dwelling in some of these cave pools. So, unfortunately, we'll have to mine one of the other sites. Coleus, on the opposite hand, new life! This species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. Coleus, they remind me of a subterranean species that my mentor, Meloray, once told me about. Uh, from when our clan used to travel across this universe. I imagine she would have enjoyed these life forms greatly. I was watching them once during a rest and the hours escaped from me. They are fascinating. I wonder what their, four, uh, what their fourth eye does. <laughs> They're having trouble conceptualizing what it's like with four eyes. Uh, Kaikud. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. What about site 2B? It shares similar formations and strata. That sounds promising. Will you and your mentor investigate, says uh, Oino? If mining site 2B proves safe for these native species, we'll move our work there. Site 2B is safe. Coleus says we'll continue to monitor our activities. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. And its effects on life here. They let us live. These are the Nomai. And that's us. No. They let the Harthians live. Whoop. Might need to stay in the water. Might need a bit of a boost. Hang on. Oh, it was here. All oh, my mistake. It was here the whole time. I could have just jumped off the... Uh Jumped off the ledge to find it. <laughs> Whee! Whoop. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, there's more to it than that. The thing that killed the Nomai was a solar system wide event of. Was it strange matter? Whoa, lead shit the bed. Hang on. Ghost matter, that was it. There was an enormous explosion that blanketed the entire solar system in an extremely deadly gas which essentially killed everything. Everything that was surface dwelling. The reason it didn't touch us is because uh, the, the ghost matter cannot go through water. We were spared. All life in this solar system was completely purged, Nomai included. So they were in no position to stop the experiment that they were running. They couldn't disarm it. They didn't even have time to... Well, the thing exploded on them before they even had time to run out of the... Uh, well, to, war to warn each other. It was very sad. They were a good species. As you can see, they, they chose to... You know, we were just a bunch of weird frogs in a cave, and yet they uprooted their entire mining operation just to spare us. They were good people. Okay. So, the sun is doing its thing, running out of fuel and go turning into a, a red giant over there. The station that was supposed to cause it to explode as part of their experiment is now consumed by 
the sun itself, so there's no going there now. It's gone. Okay. Oh, is that the thing? Does this have anything of note? I have a vague memory of seeing this before. Was this here before? Let's have a look. So, if you're just joining the stream, I'm trying the DLC Echoes of the Eye for the first time, but I've completed the main game. If you have not, I strongly recommend switching off the stream and doing it yourself. It's awesome. Ah. This is new. <laughs> Feldspar. No, wait. Gabbro? Is that Gabbro? I think it might be Gabbro. What are you doing there, Gabbro? <sighs> okay. He's the other gentleman who has the statue attached to him. Uh, linked to him. Synced to him. He's the one playing his fucking clarinet on Giant's Deep. Hmm. 40 degrees. <laughs> cool. What's this? And we're recording. <clears throat> It's been two days since the launch of the Deep Space Satellite, and I'm about to view the first batch of photos. Let the record show that on this historic day, Outer Wilds Ventures has... Ah! They're printing! They're printing! Here they come! Stars above, would you look at that? There's Brittle Hollow, and look, look there! There's Hollow Lantern, there's Giant's Deep, and the Quantum Moon! I'm speechless, I'm completely speechless! Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system looking stunning from every angle in each one of these three images. And in colour, no less. Now this is art. I should stare at these photos forever. Doesn't Timber Hearth look tiny from... Hold on. What's that? That can't be right. That's... I mean, that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is it doesn't show up on either of the other photos, just this one. Well, there must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Only sensible explanation for it. I'll radio Gabbro and ask him to go examine the satellite lens for defects. So that's what he was doing up there. Hmm. Maybe that was his mission. Maybe he was off doing that and then he went to Giant's Deep to chill. We can go talk to him, find out what he knows. We'll check the ship's log and see what it says. <laughs> oh. Was this, here was this here before? Did I walk past this without noticing? Hmm. Who's been here? Despite my checking on them at least a thousand times over, the images are still not ready to print over the radio tower. Well, it's like they say, a watch satellite never transmits data. Ah, that's a little joke for you, Journal. No one says that. Someday, I'll have to study the mechanics of how time manages to slow to a syrupy crawl whenever I'm anticipating something. In the meantime, I've turned to Gabbro, our resident uh, expert in leisurely wind uh, winding away the hours, who recommends the following. Gabbro's Three foolproof steps for dozing off. Light a nice cosy campfire and get, and get comfortable. Gaze deeply into the serene warmth. Let time begin to slip away as you allow the flames to lull you into a peaceful slumber. If Gabbro knew I'd taken notes, they'd probably think I'd finally cracked, but I refuse to accept sass from an astronaut who deliberately burns their marshmallows. He does? Savage. I don't think they're Chert's notes, are they? Might be Chert. He's off banging drums on uh, the Ash Twins. I'd expect them to be more passive-aggressive. Chert seems to keep leaving notes saying, don't read my notes. Like, on all of his notes. So like, stop reading my notes. Fuck off. It's like, dude, why are you making notes if you don't... One second. Popping open a lightly sparkled apple and raspberry juice. That's it, property of Chert. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is. It's juice. Oh, it's quite. It's quite sharp. Mm. Mm hmm. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yummy. Okay. Yeah. One of the stars going. Okay. Let's have a look at the ship's log, shall we? New entry. The radio tower. Sitting alone. So each, for those not familiar, each of these colours represents a planet or sphere of influence. And uh, yes, these, this is what we've inve investigated. So, what's this? View entry. A radio tower designed to receive photos taken by the deep space satellite. There are several photos of the entire solar system hanging on the walls. Hornfells noticed something strange in one of the photos, but concluded, it concluded that equipment malfunction was the only sensible explanation. Did I fail to look at the photo properly? Or is it the one, blimey, is it the one that Gabbro's mug is over? Is there anything unusual about these photos to your eyes? Ash Twins, Giant Steep, The Interloper. Uh, what's that there? Not sure. Timber Hearth with the Atle Rock. Brittle Hollow. What's that? In behalf. That's the underside, isn't it? It's the same plane. You shouldn't be there. You're huge! Unless you're just closer to the polar orbit. What are you? Is that just Giant's Deep? Where's my thing? Signal scope. Yeah, it's just Giant's Deep. Just looking weird in the, uh, in the atmosphere. That's the sound of Gabbro playing his... Oh, sorry, it wasn't a clarinet. It was this weird flute thing. Hmm. Well, we don't have long anyway before the sun goes, you know, boom, boom, finger boys on us. Haha, <laughs> Deska. Sitting, sitting on his uh, rocking chair. Maybe we should wait for the next loop. Oh, is that the... Uh Oh, no, wait. Rybeck. That's not Brittle Hollow. It's further over there. Is that the Nomad? Not Nomad Moon. What's it called again? Yes, it is. Piss take. That's what it's called. Wait a minute. Hang on. Is that a plot hole? Hold on a second, chat. Is that a plot hole? No, it's going to go. Is the, is, is the fucking... Is the quantum moon in the photograph? Has it been photographed and therefore observed? Hmm? Or does someone have to be physically looking at the photograph? <laughs> Is that it there? Is that it there? <laughs> okay, someone has to be looking at the picture. Okay. Right. So, for those just joining... The time loop is about to restart again. The device that's sitting at the heart of that planet there, with the strange prongs poking out of it, is about to receive enough energy. Oh, wait a minute. Is it going to do the bad ending again? Oh, have I? Oh, no. Have I haven't fucked up, have I? Oh, no. Have I permanently fucked up? I think I have, haven't I? Uh oh, I'm just. How do I unfuck this? Does it? K Scorp? I guess we're. I guess we're about to find out.
Okay, it's fine. The devs thought of it. So you're seeing the statue, or more specifically, you're seeing the device inside that planet restore the memory. So the time loop is occurring, and the statue is now imprinting the memories back onto us. So time resets 22 minutes into the past. And then we wake up. Okay. Let's go and see what is going on. Maybe I should ask Hornfill since he's here. One second. Yeah, it, it, we didn't. Hang on a minute. Uh, no, don't do that. Come back. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Don't hit poor Galena in the face or whatever. No, what's the name of the fucking kid that's throwing the rocks? His name was uh, Arcos? Arc, Arc something? Arcois? Don't hit him in the head. One second. Let me just gracefully and skillfully fly over to the museum. Oh, my leg. Yep, yeah, I'm fine. Hornful. Hello. Yes, I know the statue opened its eyes. Also, the sun is exploding. We've only got 22 minutes to live. Our entire civilization was for naught. Um. Oh, okay. No, you don't have any particular dialogue talking about the strange picture. Okay, take care. One second. Boop. Oh no, oh no, what have I done? Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? No, 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 no. Hi. It's all part of my plan. Hang on. It's all part of my plan. Ready? <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> uh, uh. Right, okay. Using a med kit to heal. Buckling up, we're ready. So, let us take flight and enter orbit around our star. Then what I'm going to do is I'm, there we go, just going to, without flying into the goddamn thing, have a look at this. Do we see anything unusual? Not really. Hmm. Nothing strange. We are there, flying upwards. We did find that satellite before, do you remember? Could that be it there? Let's fly towards it. Engaging autopilot. Thank you, um, Worth, Worth Finn, and Cardboard, and Just a Mechanic, and Tax Dodger. How much replay value has the game? Um, essentially, nil? As weird as that would be to say? Um, yes, it's, it's a, it's not really a game you replay. It's a game that you uh, don't replay, but it's also, a, I think it's a game that you'll never forget. And you will wish upon a star that you could. Wish upon an exploding star. Every 22 minutes, for fuck's sake. Here we go. So. Is this... So we found this last time, didn't we? Remember, in the last playthrough, I came here and we just assumed it was an Easter egg? Hello. Oh, look, that's new. So it is part of the DLC. This is the monitoring station. Yeah. Gabbro left us something. Let's play it. 
Gabbro here, checking in on the Deep Space Satellite per Ground Control's request to check out a possible equipment ma uh, equipment problem. See Hornfills, I do to I do to work. I do to work. You know, I wouldn't mind being a satellite. Oh God, it's peaceful out here amongst the distant stars and the soft velvety darkness. Bet it's uh, yawn awfully nice for naps too. Really? Oh right, the lens. All right, little satellite. Let's see what the trouble is. Hmm, everything looks a okay. Ground control. No dust or scratches on the lens, and no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. Guess that rules out an equipment malfunction after all. Hear that, pal? You're in great shape. Keep up the good work out there. So what was blocking the light from the sun? Is there something in the solar system that we're not aware of? Surely it would be generating light. We would have seen it. We've been observing the solar system for years. Let's get back aboard the ship. Okay. Show me... No, there's nothing unusual. Equipment malfunction is the only sensible explanation, but Gabbro doesn't seem to think that there is one. Oopsie. Okay. For those new to the game, one of its best elements, one of its finest features, the thing that makes it stand out amongst the crowd is that it doesn't just nav marker you to the next thing. You gotta think through the problem. So we know that on one of the photos, the light from the sun was blocked, and we also know that that photo had a degree marker on it, showing exactly from what angle that was. Do you remember? This satellite does have a marker on it. Perhaps we can move to the position that the satellite was in? Look for ourselves? With our own eyes? Without smudges? Or malfunctions, hopefully? Let us have a look. Bring up the map. Let us select Timber Hearth, shall we? Timber Hearth. You are now selected. That's the wrong button. Okay, I was trying to autopilot using the map, but apparently I'm thick. One second. Ah, oh, there it is. Timber Hearth. Engage autopilot. Also known as a one-way trip through the center of the sun. Hmm. Okay. Engaging retro rockets? Nonsense, we don't need that. Overriding autopilot. I'm gonna take her in manually. I'm sure it will be absolutely fine. Prepare for landing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> okay, I made a slight error. That was a little mistake. You might have noticed. The keen eyed viewers might have noticed it. Wait, what? We're alive? You're kidding. What the fuck? What what part what part of the ship is left? <laughs> the answer is not much. Oh, I can still do this. I can still do this. Where is Timberhalf? Did we just bounce off Timberhalf? We did. We just bounced off Timberhalf, and now I'm floating without a ship. In sp okay. You know what? I think I'm just going to accept death at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I just meditate until the next thing? I suppose if I just burn my fuel, I'll suffocate. Because it will be forced to use oxygen. Ah. Alright, fuck it, I'm just gonna fucking meditate. Meditate until the next loot. There we go. A slight error was made. 
Not really, Lotiro. I don't really have anything uh, particularly uni unique to say about Outer Wilds. Many other people have already said it. So once again, the time loop. That's something else. I'll explain later. Okay. Let's go and have a look at the exact position. Hang on. Oh, is it over there? Hang on. Nope, that's something else. That's a, a crashed piece of uh, dark bramble that's landed nearby. Uh, we're looking for... Whoops. Uh, nope, that's the crater. That's our home. Let's go this way. See if we find it over here. God damn it. You know what? Let's fly higher. Then we can bloody well just see it. There it is. Nope, that's home again. Hang on. There it is. Okay. Boop. Like a glove. Okay. Eh. Take the suit just in case. Right. So let's have a look and see exactly what does it say on the photograph with the anomaly on it. Hmm. It, uh, it says, satellite angle was 137 degrees. Okay. 300. So what is that? Top looking down? Hmm. No, wait, sorry. Wrong photograph. I want the one that's 40 degrees. Not Gabbro's mug. Okay. 40 degrees, satellite angle. And it's either looking straight up or straight down. Is there a way that I can tell? Not really. Okay. 40 degrees. Let's go into the ship and see what I can find. That's the interloper. It's passing meteor that the, uh... Sorry, um... Comet that the Nomai were interested in. That's the quantum moon. So, let me just zoom out of here. 40 degrees, 40 degrees. Now, without flying into the sun, which is always terrifying. The hourglass twins. Hmm. Is there a way that I can find... I'm not sure. Do I just literally fly down? Not sure if it's up or down. That's the trouble. I'm not sure if we were looking at its uh, south or north pole, essentially. Zoom out. Oh, there we go. Hello. Zoom out. Rotate view. Zoom view. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah! There we go. Oh, look! There's our satellite. Is it blinking red? Well, we've been there. Why do we want to go go back? Hmm. Uh, can I... Can I lock on to you? See exactly where you are. Just fly there again. Hang on. Okay. So, um, yes, over here then, for those just joining, we're flying through space investigating a strange anomaly with a satellite. 
Again, if you haven't played Outer Wilds, this will be extremely spoiler heavy, so I strongly recommend playing it yourself and stopping the stream. Okay. You can unbuckle and move around the ship. And that's fine, Ghost, but uh, yeah, strongly recommend. It's uh, very, very good. Here we go, we're here. So what does it actually say on our satellite? Hmm? Whoa, whoa, I'm stupid. I just flew straight past it. Okay. Oh, look. So where are we now? We're looking down on the solar system? I believe. So what does the figure on it say? It says... Uh, okay. So it's going up now. It's 90 degrees. So we should track further... But yeah, basically... Hang on. So we are here. Right, so let's go figure out why... I don't know exactly where 40 degrees was. Do I reset the time loop? We are here. Or do I just tr backtrack on its path? You know what I mean? Oh no, it's moving quite quickly. Okay. So maybe I should just get the fuck in the, in the ship as quickly as possible. Yeah, let's do that. It does. It says 90, de 90 degrees though. I, I've missed it. I'm looking for 40 degrees. Okay, let's... um. Could just wait till it goes around. Nah, it's gonna take forever. Okay, let's quickly get in the ship. Fucking race up here as soon as quickly. Yep, yeah, basically get here on forty degrees. Meditate until next loop. All right. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, over here, folks. This weekend has been chill so far. I've been walking the dog. She's been enjoying the um, the freshly cut grass in a nearby park, and also the sun. I uh, went to a um, like a, a farmer's market thing, and I got some juice, and I cut. I got like a really a nice little cut of fish. I had like a bit of fish with some rice and some sliced lemon. Yeah. It's been a very lazy day today. I went for a run. I actually ran really, really far. Way further than I thought. I uh, hadn't had much to eat, you see. So my stomach was empty and I felt really light-footed. So I felt good. Yeah. Went for a run. Hang on. Okay, so zoom out. Uh, so there it is. So let's lock on. There we go. Lock on. And then find it. There you are. Engage autopilot. Hmm. So far so good, Senden. It's going fine. I've got a whole bunch of clips lined up. Now I just need to decide if I'm going to assemble them into a bullshittery and how. Thank you, Meta Hut, and Cl Clum Bums, and Baldwin. Thank you very much, all of you. Okay, so what does it say on the side of our intrepid satellite? It says... 12 degrees. Okay, so we'll just stay with it until it turns 40 degrees. And then see what the satellite saw. Hmm? 
All right. Hmm. So, I wonder, is there some solar body that we're not aware of here? Maybe another quantum thing, like the quantum moon? Maybe it's really, like, um, really, uh, specific about when it can be observed. I hope it's not another quantum moon, because that can piss off. Creepy-ass moon. Okay, here we go. I think we're looking down, aren't we? This is, yeah, we're looking... Here we go, 30 degrees, get ready. Strange anomaly. You can see the sun station zipping around. See that little device, that thing on the side of the sun? Here we go. Oh, look. What is that? What is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what are you? What are you? What is that? I cannot seem to target it. Give me my signal scope. No. Not too fast, we don't want to crash. What is it? There's nothing here. Oh, oh fuck! Oh bloody hell! Oh, oh shit the bed! Hold on! Fuck! I've lost control. I've broken the ship. Hold on. Unbuckle. Damn. The ship got shagged. Where am I? It's a ship! Hang on. Sorry, bear with me. I just need to... Sorry, forgive me. Uh, I just need to switch off the sub alerts for a second because I can't hear anything. Sorry. Thank you for subbing there, guys. Thank you. Did I fly into like an exhaust port on a ship or something? None of this looks like the Namai. Oh. Oh. They have artificial gravity as well. Maybe another visitor. Just like the Namai? Someone else was called here? Following the same signal? Ships, maybe. Probes? No, we're in a hangar bay. They were here the whole time, weren't they? Oh. Unknown language. Drat. 
So it's not another vessel of the Nomai. Bullshit. Oh. Hello? Wait. My light is triggering their technology. Reacts too light. An airlock, maybe. It is. They have an atmosphere inside their ship. Wood? Oh shit, oh bloody hell! Holy, what the fuck? What the actual shit? Holy fuck! Holy fucking shit! It's a bottle world! Oh my god! Wait, does this steer? It does! Another species came here, following the eye! <laughs> Look at it. Wow. Sorry. I'm meant to be steering. Well, okay, sorry. Well, I hope they're friendly. What? Does this pull us up? It does. Oh. Wow. The Nomai used a... What was it? A, like a super... Super powered hyperdrive thing to get here. Maybe they did not. Maybe this is a generation ship. Flying towards the signal of the eye. Just living here. Hence this huge artificial environment. Oh, it's making my head go wibbly. Okay. Unknown language. Decaying, maybe? Why wood? Why is it made out of wood? Walking sticks? A dam. It's almost being breached. Where is everyone? Proportions of the table are huge. Look! It's up to my head. This chair is gigantic. The Namaya are slightly taller than the Harthians, but these things must be massive. Must be truly massive. Game of chess? Ooh. Could this be one of them? Two eyes. How novel. Hmm. How do they see anything? Female, maybe. R reptilian? No. Antlers? They're huge, though. Look at them. The proportions of all the buildings are massive. Oh, look! Offspring. Plant-based, maybe? Not sure. No.
I see. Maybe they didn't arrive here later. Maybe they too were caught in the the same thing that killed the Namai. What's this? Forward? Doesn't do anything. Does it require a power source? Lecture, maybe? Briefing? Lesson? For students, maybe? If these things were also killed by the ghost matter, I, I would expect to find their corpses. Actually, no, that's stupid. They might not have skeletons. They might, yeah, they could have just fully decomposed. Ah. Maybe this requires a lantern to be shone into it? Look, when I put the light on it, it requires a lantern. We found a broken one. Maybe we can find an intact one. A couple. They're smiling. They can smile. Oh! Fucking hell! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit. Ooh, bloody hell! Okay, okay, whoa! Holy shit! Oh no! Fuck, hang on! Fuck biscuits! I can breathe? I can breathe, I got my suit, I'm fine! Oh no! All of this is now underwater! Hang on! Remove slide reel, what's this thing? Oh! Do I insert this into the thing? I think I do. I see. And then I shine my light in there, I think. Maybe I have to find the lantern. That... Oh, I can't operate the device now. Maybe I have to come back next loop. Hang on. I see. Let me just... Uh. Wow! That is so cool. <laughs> so it must have been abandoned for, well, thousands of years to decay like this. I mean... Oh look, it's one of the boats. The current is actually not to be fucked with. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Whoa. Ah, fuck. No. Ah. Hang on. Oh, look. Here's our ride. <laughs> wow. I wonder what they're called. So for those who are not familiar, in this solar system exists an entity, some unknown anomaly, which the Nomai called the Eye of the Universe. It was sending out a signal. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! And the Namai followed it here, but I presume they were not the only ones to do so. Huh. Let's check this out. Sorry, that's my phone. 
I set an alarm because the International Space Station is about to fly overhead in real life. So if you're in Brighton, now's the time to look up, eh? Musical instrument, candles, sitting stars. That's their home world. That's not their bottle world. Fishing. Bipedal fishing. Relaxing on their home world. Lighting candles and looking to the stars. Ah, an intact lantern. Good. That's their home, isn't it? That's their home solar system. There's nothing like that here. I wonder how far they travelled. We probably don't have long. Solar sail, maybe? No. Not sure. Another dwelling. Another presentation. Damn it, I should have grabbed the lantern from the other thing, shouldn't I? Yeah. Whoops. Maybe there's time if I hurry. How do I drop that? Hang on. Put it down. There we go. Careful. We don't want to get swept away. At least they can breathe the same atmosphere that we do. Otherwise we'll be in real trouble. Okay. Uh, no, wait. I need one of those devices. A projector. Aha. Slide reel, sorry. I guess this is their equivalent of their scrolls. Then are my scrolls? Oh, look! Look! The symbol! In my hand! The eye! I see. Okay. The eye of the universe. That's one of their representations. Gas giant. A moon. Was that moon their homeworld? The eye? Oh, okay. Right. What's that? They're looking at the eye? Maybe it's just a representation of it. It's not the literal eye. I guess they didn't find it. Oh, hang on. One of their leaders, ceremonial, holding a totem. Holding it up. Marking it. Scanning it. Hello. Is now really the time for a selfie? What? What, what am I saying? No, wait. He's... he's... Beaming it into his own eyes. A vision? What?
Okay. Wait. Look. He's not using the eye for its intended purpose. He's using it to destroy. Turning everything to dust. Themselves included. Okay. Why? Why would you want to do that? What? It's not what he wants? He's realizing in horror... No, wait. Could this be what they realized when they arrived? That the eye was not something good, that it was only going to destroy them. He had a vision, didn't he? My mistake. They've realized that it's something horrifying, that they've made this trip for nothing? What does that mean? A school of the... That's one of their institutions, isn't it? Like a school for the eye of the... Un oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It brought down their society, didn't it? They turned their whole society into finding this place, bringing them here. And when they realized that the eye of the universe would destroy them... They burned it all down. Explosion. No. Error. In the slide? Something's gone wrong with it. It's corrupted. I can tell no more. Whoops. Reverse. Go back one. They're doing something. I can't see. Chains? A machine? Something's in there. Plan B? Unknown. Corrupted. Corrupted recording. Unknown. That's our solar system. That's their ship. They... hid themselves when they arrived. Why? Okay. Oh, shit. The water must have reached... That doesn't sound like water. What the fuck? What was that? The tower's gone. Washed away? No, it just simply collapsed. The sun's going to go. Okay. A cave has opened up. I guess that's our next destination in a minute. Okay. So, for those who are not familiar, the Nomai came here in their vessel to try and figure out what the Eye of the Universe was. They thought, at least some of them, when they were children, that perhaps it wasn't good after all, considering their vessel encountered, uh, basically got snared by Brittle Hollow and crashed, leading to many deaths. But they picked themselves up again and, convinced that the eye was actually good, were committed to finding it. But these guys somehow had a vision, their leader had a vision, and saw only death and destruction. 
I'm, I'm torn because I'm wondering if perhaps they've misunderstood. That's not really what the eye does, but maybe that's what they saw. The eye seems to, seems to, kickstart the next universe when this one is ending. Maybe it's not entirely clear, but maybe that that's what they interpreted. Maybe they misinterpreted. Regardless, they turned on their own belief system, didn't they? They burnt it all down. But then what? What did they do? Why not just leave? The star's going Nova. There we go. My mind is being pulled into the machine at the Ember Twins. Indeed, Maharez. I mean, you did see their bones with growth on it, so I'm guessing he simply misinterpreted? I was worried when I saw that recording because I thought that perhaps he was going to try and corrupt and twist the next universe. It's not clear again, I'm, I'm, I'm doing lots of speculation in here, but it seems that when the next universe starts, it somehow takes memories or is like imprinted upon by the life forms that found it. Hence the marshmallows and the the good cheer and revelry that we saw at the end of the last playthrough. I was wor I was worried that perhaps he was going to try and corrupt the process to stop the universe from ever forming, but no, it's clear that they they destroyed their own societal beliefs rather than go through with finding the eye of the universe. Yes, we need more data, Astro Cometer. If you'll forgive me, sorry, one more time loop, but I'm desperate for a wee wee because my bladder's rubbish. I'll be back in just a second. One mo one moment. Hang on. Oh, hang on, I'll leave the dog on. Dog butt. Also, where is it? Oh, I put it away. I uh, bought like a, a tick remover. Uh, she doesn't have ticks, but I, I thought it would be wise to have one. So I've been spending, because I don't want Lulu to freak out when I'm trying to remove a tick from her fur, I've basically been poking her. In, in the bum with this tick remover stainless steel tool and every time I poked her in the bum I'd give her a treat so she, she thinks I'm very fucking weird I've been prodding her in the bum all day with this tool and she's like what the fuck is he doing she has no idea what's going on back in one moment if you please Gorgeous. Hello, my darling. Yes, I love you. If you just heard a girly shriek a moment ago, uh, that was the sound of me tripping up over my own shoes uh, that, are, that are stacked up in the hallway, and the light was off, so I tripped over them because I'm stupid. One second. Hello, beautiful. Okay. Sorry, just hydrating. Okay. Yeah, she's a good girl. She's a good girl indeed. I'm extremely fond of my dog. I woke up each mo uh, well, I wake up each morning and she's cuddled up underneath an arm or whatever. She's very, very cuddly. Right. So, 
let's get up there quickly. Question is, can I get back aboard? Oh, hello. Uh, hold up a sec. Yeah, yeah, I already know about the launch codes. No, I was going to tell you about using the ship logs to set a destination marker for locations you visited before. It's a brilliant feature, if I do say so myself. Dead useful. And the risk it poses of shorting out the fuel regulator and causing the ship to explode is so minimal that only Gossen would worry about it. Okay. What about locations I haven't visited before? Oh, sure. I'll just magically have the system know all the possible locations that you plan to discover throughout the entire solar system, shall I? Wow, Slate, how do you come up with these incredible ideas? Oh, I do my best. I can... Uh, I do the best I can with what I've got. Really, you're too kind. <laughs> That's not what my voice sounds like. Everyone's a critic. Anyway, I've got a fire to enjoy, and you've got the launch codes to grab. Go wild with the marking feature while you're out there. Just try not to follow it so directly that you fly into the sun. <laughs> uh, have a good one, Slate. Okay. Thank you, Maidenless, Saturn, John Doe, Fizzy, Arkatos, Jihil, Callan Wiz, and thank you sincerely, Pep515. Sorry for missing your sub, your sub bomb earlier, Pep. Uh, just, sorry, it just got a bit yeah, atmospheric there, so I had to turn off the subs. Thank you sincerely, Pep. Thank you very, very much. Okay. So, if you're just joining, welcome. I strongly recommend not watching the stream if you intend to play Outer Wilds, and I strongly recommend that you should, so... Heavy spoilers abound. Ye be warned. Okay. Let's now... Huh. Rats. How are we going to find this mysterious vessel? Are we going to have to go all the way back here again? Hmm. Oh, bloody hell! Oh, no, no, shit, the man! No, no, no! Thank you, Slate. Appreciate it. Yes, I know. Well, the good news is we're in a time loop, so, you know, he has no idea that that just happened. Although, bad news, we're in a time loop. So, from his perspective, he just saw the hatchling get aboard, fly off, and, and then just disappear, and just fly into the sun for no reason. So, he spent the next 20-odd minutes of that time loop blaming himself rather than enjoying the campfire, I'm sure. Let's try that again, with less stupid. One second, I have something very important that I must do. Hello darling, are you awake? Hello you, hello darling, hello darling, hello darling. She's a good girl. Look at her. Do I have any treat? Oh, we do. We have a biscuit. Would you like a biscuit? A biscuit for you. Yeah. There we go. It's a salmon flavored biscuit. She likes those ones. Okay. Someone help me. He's too dumb. Story of my life. But I put my trousers on this morning, so... Ha! Right. Oh! Oh, no. It's the Atle Rock. <laughs> I thought I found it immediately. Okay. So. Uh, let's zoom out there. This time, don't fly into the sun. Select the satellite quickly. Right. There we go fly to the satellite. I think Slate is trying to tell me that I should have marked the thing. So this time, let's mark the thing. 
Oh, the logs? Chat saying check the logs. Ah, oh, the stranger. Is that the name of the object? Cinder Isles? Ooh, interesting. Hello. The stranger. What is the stranger? View entry. Mark, I see. Mark on the HUD. Ah. Hello. Mark. Oh, I see. Ah. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Before we do this again and smash into the thing. Match its velocity for a second. I'll be falling towards it awkwardly. Yes, but very slowly. We have time. Right. Tell me about the stranger. Actually, no. Don't do that. Because when I watched my brother's playthrough, the game perhaps overshared a little bit too much in the logs. I'm guessing the developers don't want people to miss things, which is fine, but at the same time, I want to learn it myself. And then I'm sure the chat will yell at me and go, oh, why doesn't he know this really basic thing about the game? And I'll be like, well, oh, I didn't read the log. Yeah. Right. So, for those just joining, there appears to be a mysterious object in our solar system, which, on flying closer, is apparently a ship. It's an enormous, I assume, generation ship, maybe. Bottle ship. Okay. Here we go. This time, autopilot, don't fly into it so fast that we explode. Here we go. Nice and slow. Nice and gentle. There we go. Right. Here we go. Into the docking bay. We smoothly and carefully land. Like so. Okay. Get my suit on. Right, so despite all the wood and stuff, whoops, wrong way, despite all the wood, well, obviously we know that they're super high-tech, it's a fucking spaceship, for fuck's sake, Soviet, but, I mean, look, they've got all this high-tech shit out here that doesn't have the same aesthetic. Here we go, the airlock, cycling airlock. Initiating... Here we go. So we always have to start this way because we're next to the dam. Dam. <laughs> Fuck you, you smiled. I know some of you smiled. Okay. I wonder, is that the same boat, maybe? Does it float around? Let's have a quick look around. Can I find another lantern? Now that we know how they work. Let's quickly check in here. So where did they go? What did they do? So they turned on their own belief system when they realised, well, when one of them had a vision indicating that the eye of the universe would bring death. Another record reel. Another one. There's quite a few of them. I simply have no way of reading them. Uh, can I get my outer wilds? Change frequency. Deep space radio. Nothing in here to listen to. Are these walking sticks, maybe? It's properly decaying. No one's been maintaining it. Whoops. Sorry. There we go. Okay.
What's that in there? I wonder what these markings mean. Aha. Is it the same series of pictures as before? Lamps are available to me. Okay. I wonder if these people were also nomadic, just like the Nomai. As in originally, obviously they became nomadic, but the Namai were by default. They didn't. They didn't build their vessels specifically to come here. In fact, you can find the messages presumed from other vessels, explaining. Well, they're confused as to the loss of the one that came here. They seem to just be floating around as a nomadic species, but I wonder what their deal is. This species here. Oh. What happened? Oh, look! What could that mean? Oh. Some sort of cycle? Strange. Maybe it's simply to change the amount of light. Maybe it just becomes twilight, maybe. Oh, sorry. It's me. Sorry, 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 sorry. Peculiar. Okay. Insert lantern. So for those that didn't see it a few minutes ago, this is their record. Yes, we best hurry. You're right, because that dam is going to break. Here we go. Ah, uh, is this the same record as before? Looks similar. Use the interface. The eye of the universe. Pulsing. Sending out a signal, a message. Pulsing deep into the universe. Contacting their solar system. They were from that moon. There we go, they heard it. They're not nomads. They heard it. It called to them. A vision, maybe. Wait, sorry. Reverse. Fear? Amazement? Joy? Shock? Excitement? Calling out to the others. Come and see this. Telling their entire species, their entire society about it. Here. The Harthian system. Corrupted. Unknown record. That's their system. Wait, the ship. Under construction. They poured all of their resources into going. Oh look, the fins. Perhaps it's part of the propulsion system. A sail, maybe. They set sail here. Okay, and then they arrived. And that must have been when they received their revelation. So hang on, they weren't nomadic. That's important. That's very important. It means that they they uprooted their entire society, their entire way of being. A, a, a sedentary planetary, pla moon-based, not planet, but moon-based species to come here. And then when they arrived to discover that all of their beliefs, that all of this was for nothing. Or rather, would be their deaths. That must have been extremely difficult to accept. I mean, holy shit. It would drive men mad. Oh. What is it? Okay. I've never seen these symbols. Ah. Uh. I 
I don't know what it is. A door? Sarcophagus? Sealing something inside? Sealing what inside? Sealing who inside? Oh. Put the light through there. Another projection? Chains? Sealing something? That marker. Corrupted. Back to the beginning of the same slide? Yeah. What are they sealing away? I don't know what that is. Need more information. Presumably this was afterwards? After the... So is that their propulsion system? Are we in fact moving? Yeah, Jesus Christ. It must, must have been horrible. I mean, can you imagine that? All of your societal beliefs just upended. What do you do? Presumably... Well, hang on. Why didn't they just go home? Did something happen to their moon? Quickly, while there's still time. Cross the bridge and see if there's anything over there. These boxes. No, they're just normal boxes. They must be huge, though. Look at the proportions. Look at the size of the... The tables are huge. The doors are massive. Look. They must be giants. Giant owl things. I thought they were like lizards or tree people, but they're like giant owl things, I think. Owls with antlers. Oh, look, sorry. I went the wrong way. That's also true. I'm a Harthian, so we're probably teeny weeny. Okay, hang on. Unknown language. Uh, must be a specific district, I imagine. Oh, look. <laughs> Giant's deep. Oh, it's just another entry point for the, uh, for the raft system. Okay. Could that be... Yeah, so these... Um, uh, like cradles, I suppose, aren't they? There's a house over there. Let's go and explore quickly. So, yeah, plants from their home world. Oh, no. So, maybe they did. Maybe they did die with the ghost matter explosion. These crystals, folks, that's ghost matter. Extremely dangerous. Look, switch it over to photo mode. See that? If I touch that, I die. Painfully. And the crystals scattered around strongly implies that they were caught in the same explosion that got the Namai. What is that? Power conduit? Plugs into the ground. It's safe to walk here. It's not safe to walk over there. I cannot get inside the building. Looks like the dam is going to break soon. Hmm. Can I get through on the underside? Can I fire this through? Fuck.
I think I can get through on the underside. Hang on. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, there we go. So long as I'm careful. Uh, what is that? A bed? Oh, Jesus Christ, the dam! Oh, God. Quick, I don't have long. Pick up, what's this? What's this thing? Some sort of... Oh, Jesus. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh, just don't touch the thing, don't touch... Oh, hang on, no, the ghost matter doesn't work underwater, it's fine. Fuck it, what is this thing? Focus, hold. Conceal, hold. What does that mean? Don't know. What is this? What do I have? What do I have in my hand? It looks like some sort of like gripping device. It grabs onto things, maybe. Strange. Wires. Some of the technology coming in here. Oh, maybe they were. No, 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 no. I was just going to say that maybe it was picking up ghost matter or something, but I assume they were overwhelmed by the same thing. Is this a bed turned on its side? Probably a bed. Maybe. Hang on. Sorry, how do I get my dam? Can I put this down? What's this? Don't know. Oh, do you reckon I put a light source in there? Conceal the light source? Focus. Yeah, so focus a light source and conceal a light source. Ah, okay. Okay. So the houses that I was exploring before are now underwater. The tower, that's the tower that collapsed when I checked the recording. We could go further along this time. Although I will require a boat. And I do not have a boat. That might just have to do, you know? Hmm. We Hearthians are... We have to make do with what we've got. <laughs> this is so cool. Holy shit. Okay. Probably be my last loot for this evening, if that's alright, folks. It's already, uh, it's already 11 in the evening. Okay. Hang on to something. Thank you, Sustained Depression, and C3 Mirror, Zello Silver, and Spoken Fiddle. Fuck a duck. Thank you, all of you. Uh, should we check out the tower again? Oh, look. Did they erode? Is that why it fell? Maybe. Let's keep going for a second. Ah, there's a real boat. Oh, look. Oh, look. The eye. Oh, is that the burnt structure? Hold on. I want to check that out. This is it, isn't it? Look! Whoa! Oh, it's just me splashing down. A tower. That's the tower. So this was their... Their school to the eye. That it, or, or church, maybe. They burnt this down when they realised how dangerous the eye of the universe was. 
Oh, <laughs> jetpack fuel. So then what? What did they do? Why didn't they just go home? Just gonna have a quick look up here. Whoop, oh, no, I couldn't quite get high enough. Explore a bit more. Uh, put that on the ground. How does one launch this sucker? Oh, it's already launched. Ah, there we go. Oh. Hey. Oh, oh, oh no, uh oh. Uh, don't touch that. That looks owie. Don't touch that, don't touch that. Ooh. Stop, 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 stop. What's that symbol? Ship log updated. Damn. Was this destroyed before the dam? Maybe I can get here if I race here quickly? That's the dam break, so that's where I came in. Okay. I'll never make it. Let's get back aboard the boat. I'm out of time. Hang on. Anything over here? Not that I can see. Quickly. Whoops. Hmm. So wait, hang on. No, 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 no. Something doesn't add up. I've made an assumption, but it can't be correct. I assume that these people were killed in the same thing that killed the Nomai. But if that is true, then why didn't they meet the Nomai? Surely an enormous ship entering their space. Surely they would bump into each other. Which implies that perhaps they came in later. I don't, think, I don't think it's gonna move. Oh no, wait, push. I'm, I'm fucking smooth brain this evening, sorry. Okay. What's that there? Control system for the dam? This must be it. I see. That was the previous water level, wasn't it? Back when this was the reservoir. Oh, look. Giant bell. What could the symbols on it mean? Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Nope.
There we go, it's too late. Odd. Maybe it's just me over-analyzing the situation there, but why is the device pulling me back as if I've escaped the explosion? Surely the ship would explode, you know? Normally that thing happens when I'm out of range, you see, and it's like, okay, pull him back, he's out of range. The supernova went off, but we did not die? Hmm. Perhaps that implies that we're no longer within range. Maybe ah. when the sails unfurl, the stranger is moving away from the system? Maybe, and therefore we're out of range? Peculiar. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just the devs didn't think of it. Guess we'll find out. Okay, so if you'll forgive me, folks, I'm probably going to leave it there this evening. Very cool, though, as you can. Yeah, super cool. I'm so, so impressed so far. Then again, I'm, you know, this is this is the, the I, th I think the finest game I've ever seen. So obviously, I'm going to be impressed. Yeah. Hard recommend on Outer Wilds. Obviously, if you're watching now and you haven't played it, then. Uh, yeah, sorry for uh, yeah, but but you were sorry you were warned about spoilers and stuff. Hard recommend on a playthrough if you haven't done it. Right. Thank you for watching. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna bog off now and cuddle the dog and wind down and go to bed fairly soon. I think so. Yeah, hope to see you again soon. Not sure when I'm gonna pick this up again. Tomorrow evening is Team Fortress Two, so yeah, we'll we'll be doing that tomorrow. But yeah, I will go live with this again, sure. Uh, sure? Soon, I'm sure. Right. Let me have a quick look and see. Let me have a quick look and see if any of my clan mates are currently streaming, and if they are, if they're doing anything interesting. One moment. Okay. Yeah, the, super cool, though. Holy shit. I love that bit when I dropped into the ship. For the first time. Didn't expect that. So this is completely blind. I've, I've, I've read nothing. I've looked at absolutely nothing. Okay. Uh, so SWAT Knight is on. Smeagol is on. Uh, Digby's on. One second. What are they doing? Uh, SWAT Knight is chatting. Digby's playing Hell Let Loose. And Smeagol is playing Rust. Because of course he is. Let me hand you over to... Oh no, wait a minute. Sorry, is SWAT Knight... Is SWAT Knight out and about? No, he's just looking at footage. No, well, I'll hand you over to him and he can explain. He seems to be looking at cars. Mm, I guess he'll explain what the cars are about. Thank you for watching, folks. Have a lovely weekend. Hope to see you, hope to see you tomorrow for TF2. This is ZF SWAT Night.